What's up guys, Mike from Rockville here to introduce the new Rockforce 192 DMX controller. This is kind of like the little brother of the Rockforce 384, but don't let that fool you. This is still a powerful and programmable DMX controller. This system has 192 DMX channels, 30 banks of eight programmable scenes, six chases, and can control 12 light fixtures of up to 16 channels. On top of that, it has a durable gig-to-gig -gig design with a strong steel chassis, and it's even rack mountable, which gives it even more portability and integration into your setup. On the back of the system, we have a DMX out that goes straight to the lights, the power switch, and the polarity switch. And on the front, you have smooth moving faders and a bunch of buttons like a blackout kill switch that will kill all the lights and automatic presets that will really bring out the dramatics in your performance. There's also a built-in microphone that can be used in music mode and allows the DMX controllers to send signals to the light to change to the beat of music or any performance. But let's go over some of the basics of DMX controlling to really bring your performances to life. So today we're gonna do a little bit of DMX programming. What we're going to do is create some scenes, set them into a chase, and then use different banks, which are just houses that hold these scenes and chases to have a cool lighting effect. So right now we're in bank one. And in each bank, there's eight programmable scenes. So we're gonna start by creating some scenes. All I want to do is, for each scene, I want to have one light attached to each scene. For my first scene, I just want the reds of fixture one, which is the fixture to my right, is one, and I have two, then three, then four. So fixture one, I'm gonna just put the reds up. And I wanna set that to scene one. So I go into program mode. To get into program mode, you just hold it down. I go MIDI add, then scene one. You'll see the whole system flash. We've added that to scene one. For scene two, I want fixture two to be the scene two, just the reds of that. So I bring down that, make sure it's off, switch over to fixture two, bring up the reds in that. Now we have just fixture two on, the reds of that. I go to MIDI add, scene two. Whole system flashes. We're gonna keep going with this theme. I'm gonna bring this down, go to fixture three, bring the reds up, MIDI add, scene three, same thing, bring that down, switch over to my last fixture, fixture four, bring the red up, MIDI add, scene four, whole system flashes, good. So we have scene one, it's the first light, scene two should be the second fixture, three, four, so now I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to do the same thing for the colors of green and blue. A bank is a storage for all the scenes that we're creating that are independent from any other banks. So if I'm in bank one in program mode, you'll see I go scene one, it's all the red. So if I go through all the scenes we created, in bank one, it's just all red lights. If I go up to bank two, it's all green lights. And if I go up to bank three, it should be all blue lights, which we have here. So now what I want to do is, when I'm in the middle of a performance, I don't want to be controlling all of these and programming them. I kind of want to create an effect that will look visually stimulating and also allow me to not focus on that and focus on what's going on on the stage. So what we can do is we can create a chase. I'm going to program a chase of just scenes now. So I'm going to do all the scene one. So I'm going to go to scene one. So when you're programming a chase, all you have to do is click the chase. You'll see the chase number appear. So now we're in chase one. So now we want to program that. So we go scene one, MIDI add, system flash, scene two, MIDI add, scene three, MIDI add, scene four, MIDI add, scene five, MIDI add, scene six, MIDI add, scene seven, MIDI add. And the way we run a chase is we're going to go to chase one and then press auto. Now there's a cool thing that you can do on the Rockforce 192 and that is copy banks and then run them in order. So if I go to back into program mode, I can copy all the scenes in this entire bank one into the chase six just by clicking bank copy and MIDI add at the same time. So now what that means is the first scenes that are gonna run in chase six are everything from bank one. Now I can go up to bank two, which is all the green lights moving, right? And press bank copy and MIDI add 
So let's leave program mode and see if that worked. We're in blackout, let's go to Chase 6. You can see the Chase 6 here. Let's press auto. And just like that, you can use banks, chases, and scenes to create visually stunning live performances. The possibilities seem endless with the Rock Force 192. Whether you're a DJ running your own lights, or a musician just trying to get a little more out of your performance, or maybe you're a stage manager running a big production, if you need an intelligent and powerful but easy to use programmable DMX controller, look no further than the Rock Force 192. If you liked what you saw in this video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. And make sure you follow us on Facebook to stay up to date with us or just reach out to us. And let us know if you like these demos and all the information that we give. As always guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.